Hey, how's it going today? This is just a super quick video on trying to correct some of the warnings that you might get on Niagara assets that you bring into your game from the Lyra starter game. So in the last show, we had effects and we were looking at all these Niagara systems that we have potentially available to us here. And let's just click into one. The one that we were interested in was the wall portal. And this is a great way to learn about Niagara, by the way. There's so many components to this. One way to learn is just by jumping in and just start pushing dials and buttons and seeing what happens. And I don't think it'll blow up your computer or anything like that. So it's just a good way to kind of figure out what's what. But anyway, if we look, we'll see, we've got some informational notices and that's kind of interesting. Sprite facing alignment issue. There's some other informational things, but I was particularly focused on these warnings because I think those are a lot more serious and I would like to get those taken care of. So all we have to do is, let me stop this from playing. This effect appears to work just fine. So despite these warnings, but I'd like to get rid of these warnings. So we'll just double click here on that and then it opens up here in the selection panel and if we click on the little warning what's cool about this is it gives us this kind of wordy kind of detailed explanation I don't even know if I want to read it all but it says due to a previous this honestly sounds like somewhere somebody messed up and they tried to go back in and tell you what happened but it says Due to a previous GPU code gen issue, of course everybody knows about that, both particle spawn and update scripts were running on particle spawn when interpolated spawning is disabled. Of course, this is now fixed for new content to match CPU behavior where only particle spawn will run when interpolated spawning is disabled. I've been trying to tell people this for years, but look at this button. You just go fix issue. <laughs> Sounds good. And then look at this next one. This is on several of these Niagara systems, by the way. The emitter is GPU and is using dynamic bounds mode. Okay, so I understand that that has to do with the particle effects and it can have dynamic ever-changing bounds or you can fix the bounds. Well, for some reason, it's having issues with it being in dynamic mode. So there's two ways you can do it. One is if you come down here to calculate bounds and it says dynamic, you simply just change that to fixed. That'll get rid of that warning. Or if you want to leave it on dynamic, you could just switch it to CPU sim and that gets rid of it. So I guess you could just play around with each one. I'm assuming it's probably best to leave it on GPU since it's a particle effect and we don't want to put all that strain on the CPU. That's just my guess. So then we can just set it to fixed. And once you do, you, you can see some boundaries are set here. And I suppose you can play around with those. These are on X, Y, and Z. If you notice the effects are culling or disappearing before they should or something like that. But then we just go and we do that for all of these here. They all are the same warning. So we just set it to fixed. And like they say on that commercial, just set it and forget it. And then we still have our informational notices, but at least we've gotten rid of those warnings and I feel that this is a fine effect to use. So then we can compile and save this. And I honestly don't see any problems with using it. So if we click play and I go into the game, remember you can only see this from one side, but here's an example of the portal and they just go through and you, it's fantastic, okay? And we get that particle effect. Now it's trailing with us. See that? As I'm kind of going in. And that would be great for going into another level. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Okay, in the next tutorial I'm going to do, I'm going to hack some of these effects to really have some fun. So stay tuned for that, and that's coming very soon.